Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear all viewers and students. This is Zakirullah, lecturer medical laboratory technology with a new lecture, the mixers and pH meter which is used in the medical laboratory. In this lecture, we will learn about the mixers and its different types of mixers for different purposes. What is the purpose of the mixer and how it is used and how to take care of this mixture. Another topic of today's lecture is the pH meter and we will know about the working principle of the pH meter, uh, the use and applications of the pH meter and the precautions during uh, the pH meter operation and its usage. First of all, what is mixers? Mixer is a device which is used for mixing the contents of a tube or a container. It is required in a different district and central laboratories depending on the type of work performed and the amount of workload. In certain laboratories, if there is a small amount of lab tests performed, so the mixers they require a different type of mixers and for those laboratories which have heavy workload a different type of mixers are uh, required for the types of mixers number first of them is the roller mixer and the vertex mixture the rotator or the orbital mixer the magnetic stirrer mixer and hot plate and the shaking mixer or the shaker. Roller mixer, this is a type of mixer which uh, consists of uh, different uh, cylinders and rods and these rods are coated with Teflon. In between these rods there is a small gap so a tube or a container they may be uh, they may come fit in between these gaps all these rods and cylinder they are set in a horizontal plane and parallel to each other these cylinders are attached to the rods at both ends and these rods are connected to electrical motors which moves the cylinder in two different planes in one plane the cylinder move around its axis and rotate around uh, the motor and in the other plane the other type of moment is uh, the tilting moment in which one end of the cylinder goes up and the other uh, end of the cylinder goes down the this is the operation of a roller mixture This is a roller mixture and the different parts of the roller mixture, the display bar, the regulator and the increase or decrease button. In this roller mixture, these are the cylindrical, uh, these are the cylinders which are coated with Teflon and we have a timer and a rotation speed or RPM uh, which is set inside the uh, display bar and connected with the motor. So how it operates? First, we uh, manage and we set the time for how much time these tubes are to be rotated and mixed. And we can see in this video that the cylinder, cylinders show two types of moment. The one is rotation and the other is the tilting moment. Now setting the RPM or the speed of the rotation and the tilting, uh, tilting of roller mixer. Roller mixer is uh, commonly used to mix the different types of biological fluid especially blood for example in case of a uh, whole blood count or blood complete picture uh, we take a blood sample in an EDTA tube so for adequate mixing and before testing the samples we uh, place that sample on the roller mixer for at least 
2 to 3 minutes the roller mixer is easier to use and it provides a gentle mixing and the whole specimen can is easily mixed with the help of uh, this uh, mixer it can mix specimen in a variety of container for example we can take a uh, small tubes and large tubes and uh, the universal test tubes can also uh, be placed in the roller mixer and we can mix the solution in this is easy to uh, decontaminated or cleaned for example if there is spillage occurs so it can be easily decontaminated and easily cleaned the world or the vortex mixer this type of uh, mixer it uh, contain a rapidly rotating uh, rubber cape or a head and this vortex mixer they produce a whirling moment when a tube containing a fluid it is placed on this head so the vortex mixer mixer start whirling moment and mixing the solution this type of mixer allows very thorough and in depth uh, mixing when especially in case of two fluids when two fluids are mixed with each other so for proper mixing and for in depth mixing vortex mixer is used this mixer have a speed range so the speed can be increased or decreased and it is commonly used for preparing the serum dilution or the dilution of different solutions um, reacting with the each other this is the vortex mixer and the different types of uh, heads which can be placed uh, depending on the type of experiment the vortex mixer is uh, provided with a range of easily interchangeable heads which uh, enables the sample data to be mixed with the tubes the flask or the titration plates in some type of vortex mixer they have the option for unattended use for longer uh, continuous mixing of samples and the heads are chemically resistant material of the heads they are chemically resistant and when spillage occurs on them so they do not absorb any kind of fluid when contaminated with the solutions so these heads and this mixer they can be easily decontaminated and if spillage occurs so and they are easily cleaned the vortex mixer they have a stable base that holds the mixer securely on the bench or the table and prevents its vibration during uh, the operation or the processing of sample the third type of mixer is the rotator mixer the, in this type of mixer a plate is uh, rotated around the center of gravity this is the mixer and this is the plate and it rotates about its center of gravity it can operate a speed up to 100 rpm it rotates uh, in a diameter of about 15 to 20 millimeter orbit a timer is installed in it so we can uh, set uh, a timer and put an experiment unattended for a specific time it is supplied with a lid which is uh, helpful in preventing the drying of samples so the rotor mixer is required for mixing of different agglutination tests performed in the microbiology hematology um, blood uh, transfusion laboratories or any research laboratories so these are the properties of uh, and uses of a rotator mixer magnetic stirrer mixer and hot plate mixer these are the type of mixer which provides a magnetic force and these force moving in a circular uh, direction under a hot plate the container is uh, placed on a plate and this plate is usually hot then we can stir them with two type of uh, elements the first one is the iron there is the iron pellets they are introduced and placed inside the fluid so 
द सर्कुलर मोमेंट ऑफ दीज पलेट्स दे अलाउ द मिक्सिंग ऑफ द सोल्यूशन द सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ स्पिर इज यूजली एन ए रॉड विच हेल्प इन मोमेंट एंड मिक्सिंग ऑफ द सोल्यूशन The last type of mixer is the shaker mixer or the shaker. It shakes the tubes or any type of container which is placed in a stand. And it is also combined with a water bath or an incubator. So it is used as a shaking incubator or a shaking water bath and we can perform our procedure with that. Uh, other type of uh, special mixers are also available which is used in special circumstances or in special research lab so these are the different types of mixers which is used in uh, uh, district laboratories or routine laboratories now the use and care of mixer how will we use and how will we take care of the different mixer which is used in the medical laboratory for every instrument read the user manual for its operation its working and prepare a stock record which have all the sops the care the maintenance or any problems that comes in the mixer when using a roller mixer try to use a cap tubes and this cap should be leak proof so that the contents do not leak out of this tubes and when spillage occurs then immediately clean all the area and all the mixer as per recommended by the manufacturer when using a magnetic hot plate uh, stirrer so take a special care as this plate is hot and it may uh, cause any heat injury try to use these mixer away from the any chemicals which are uh, flammable now coming to the ph meter pH meter is an instrument which is used to measure the pH of a solution and pH is the, the negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration it measures the acidity or basicity or alkalinity of a solution a neutral solution has a 7 pH and it contains the same amount of hydrogen ion as well as the hydroxyl ions an acid solution has excess amount of hydrogen ion and a ph have less than 7.0 and in alkaline solution the hydroxyl ion is more than the hydrogen ion and its ph is above 7.0 the working principle of uh, a ph meter the ph electrode it is an ion selective electrode which consists of uh, a measuring electrode along with a reference electrode these both electrodes they are combined together in one probe this probe is lowered into a solution the difference between the measuring and the reference electrode it is measured with the help of hydrogen ion concentration in the solution so this uh, difference is then translated by the ph meter of the instrument the display bar shows us the reading of the solution no the parts and use of a ph meter these are the parts of the ph meter the meter the display bar and its control buttons this is the handle of the ph meter and this is the electrode the handle of ph meter can be used for moving up and down the electrode <coughs> now how to use the ph meter first remove the cap from the ph meter because this cap is necessary and this keep the ph meter wet after removing the cap now clean the ph meter and with the distilled water so that it becomes wet and 
then calibrate the pH meter with the standard uh, solutions using 7 pH uh, using 4 pH 7 pH and 10 pH calibrate the pH meter with standard pH solution of having pH 7.02 now remove the standard solution and rinse the pH meter with the distal water before uh, checking the pH of the test solution immerse the pH in the test solution and note the reading of the pH it is 5.57 at the temperature of 23.9 degree centigrade so this is the pH of a solution now carefully remove the pH and cap the solution then again rinse the pH meter with the water the distal water and cap the solution with the cap the pH meter with the protective cap the applications of the pH meter it is used in the medical laboratory and also it is used uh, for the agriculture in the food industry in the other uh, processes for the corrosion prevention it is uh, in the industries where corrosion preventive processes are performed in the dyeing uh, processes and it is used in the manufacturing of jam and jelly production it is also used in the uh, printing uh, solutions and the pharmaceutical industry so these are the applications of the pH meter the precautions during the operation of the pH meter as the pH meter is basically an ion selective electrode and these are very really delicate and expensive so they should be handled very carefully and the pH meter should be always kept absolutely clean the electrode should not be allowed to dry and always use cover with the cap before and after use because when they get dry so they get permanent damage the pH meter should always be kept uh, in a buffer or a neutral solution when not in use that was all about today's lecture about the mixers which is used in laboratory and uh, the pH meter hope you have learned about the different type of mixers and their operation and the operation of uh, the pH meter till next lecture assalamu alaikum Allah Hafiz.